Hello everyone, it's Teresa here. Uh, I wonder whether you have been listening to some of the good things that have been happening during this week when so much that's bad has also been happening. Maybe you were one of the people who uh, stood on your doorstep this week and clapped to show support and appreciation uh, for our wonderful NHS staff. Um, there have been other good news stories too. Have you heard about the Italians who are stuck at home um, who have been singing to each other from their balconies in their blocks of flats, cheering each other up with a good sing-song? Or I heard about um, someone in Scotland who took their pet alpaca for a walk to the local care home to cheer up the elderly residents who could uh, look at the alpaca through the windows. Um, there are so many good things going on at the moment. In fact, in this last week, over half a million people in our country have volunteered to help out by delivering food and medicine to people that really need it. These are wonderful things and uh, there are many reasons why people choose to help in this way. But for me as a Christian, I believe it's because God uh, made us to love one another. In fact, Jesus says that loving one another is the second most important commandment, second only to loving God himself. Now, when Jesus said that, he told a story to help illustrate what he meant. And I'm going to take you now to one of the stained glass windows in our church to show you what this story looks like. Um, it was a parable. I wonder whether you can guess from the window which parable it was. The sun's a bit shiny in here today, which is beautiful, but it does mean that the person in our story who's dressed in white looks a little bit pale hopefully you can make him out on one side he looks a bit sad he's been hurt in fact he's been hurt very badly some from, by some bad people and he's been left on his own now while he was left on his own two people came along one after the other who should really have helped him but they just walked on by and ignored him Maybe they were feeling scared. Maybe they uh, felt they were too busy. Maybe they just thought they had too many other important things to worry about in their own lives. But you can see in this picture that the third person that came past did help him. This person is a foreigner from a, a country called Samaria. And the Samaritans traditionally hated the people of God. So it was really surprising that he stopped to help the man who was in trouble. But he did, and in fact he looked after him. You can see him putting uh, the man onto his donkey and he took him off and cared for him. Now, Jesus uses this story to teach us how we should love one another, or more importantly, who we should love. He's helping us to realise that we should love everybody, that everyone is our neighbour and that we have a duty to love everybody. Now, at the moment, we're doing a lot to help uh, love our neighbours. In fact, your parents might be doing shopping for elderly neighbours. Uh, you might be um, helping to cheer up people who live nearby to you, maybe older family members, your grandparents, who you can't go and see, uh, by phoning them and spending time um, on FaceTime and things like that with them. And those are all really great things. But for some of you, you might be thinking, well, how can I love my neighbour? I'm stuck at home. They're stuck at home. Um, I, can't, I can't go out because uh, maybe I'm too young to go on my own. I'm not supposed to go out more often than necessary. So how can I practically love my neighbour in the way that Jesus wants me to? Well, I want you to think for a moment. Who are the people that you are spending most of your time with at the moment? I guess for most of you, it's your family. It might be your mum and dad or whoever cares for you. It might be your brothers and sisters. Now, if Jesus says that we should love everyone as if they are our neighbour, then that includes our family too. So while you're stuck at home, I think that what you can do is really show love to your neighbours who are your family that you live with. Now, that might sound a little bit 
more, less appealing, actually, than going out and helping your real neighbours. Uh, but it's just as important because while we're all stuck at home, we don't always get on, do we? Our tempers might get frayed, mum and dad might be worried about all sorts of things. They might be finding it hard. You might hear them getting upset. They might shout at you more often because uh, their tempers are getting frayed. You're having to spend more time with your brothers and sisters. So things like sharing might be tricky. And those are just the times when Jesus is saying that we should show love to one another. So practically, let's think about some f a few things that you could do this week to show love to your neighbours, the people in your house. Uh, maybe you could um, help your younger uh, brothers and sisters with their schoolwork and get on with your own schoolwork as well. Don't use it as an excuse. Um, uh, do your schoolwork without mum and dad having to nag you all the time. Maybe help out with some of the household chores. Maybe even make mum and dad a special meal because they can't go out for a meal out, can they, as they might do normally. Um, there are so many ways that we can show love to our family. And I think one of the really important things we can do is when we do get it wrong, which we will, we have to admit it and we have to say sorry and we have to really mean that sorry and we have to try again. And equally, when they get it wrong, which they will, whether it's mums and dads or your brothers and sisters, when they say sorry, you need to try to forgive them so that we can live together showing love to one another. Now, it would be great, wouldn't it, if you can do the other practical things as well, helping out uh, your neighbours in whatever way you can, maybe uh, by phoning them, chatting to them over the garden fence two metres away, of course. Uh, all sorts of ways that we can support each other and encourage each other. But don't forget to love the people that Jesus has put you with. So as we uh, spend the next week together, uh, think about how you can do better at following Jesus' ex Jesus's example of loving your neighbour. Thanks for listening. Amen.